Good morning, Good morning DMS. DMS. I'm Trenton. I'm Caleb, and I'm welcome to the DMS, DMS broadcast. broadcast. Can you believe we've already been in school for about a month now? Yeah, I wonder how football is dealing with this. How about we throw it over to Drew to talk about this football season? My name is Drew. I love football, and I'm here with somebody to talk to me about their season. Uh, what position do you play on the team? Hi, my name is Caleb Mortimer. I play quarterback. <laughs> about playing on the team? Mm-hmm. What I like most about playing football is the fact that you got to, in order to be a good team, it's really fun everyone. when everyone's playing their hardest and winning. What about playing? The hardest part, I would say, is probably the mental toughness to keep going and not giving up during the uh, game. <laughs> Have you been playing football? I've been playing for I've been playing football for about seven years. Blue Jay Broadcast, Coach Mead here, and I've been asked some questions uh, about football. So uh, here are my answers. Uh, professionally, um, like. As many years as I've been teaching, with this, with this is my 23rd or 24th year. So I've got a, a coaching year for every bit of that. But I also coached some college football before that. I, my, I'm pre-teaching, so I've got like almost 30 years. Here I am back. Uh, uh, this is what my, my fifth or sixth year back here. What teams have you coached? Back here, I came back, coached freshman at the high school, and then as a varsity. And then... Um, uh, this is where I'm at now at the eighth grade level, where I want to be. Uh, and I'm coaching a long time. I consider myself almost semi-retired from high school coaching, coaching, and uh, eighth grade football. Just um, uh, very proud of the players I've had on eighth grade program. Go cheer on your eighth grade football team, and hope you guys have a good rest of your season. Did you hear about the new library set up? No. What does it look like this year? Well, then we should flip it over to Mason and figure it out. Mason, we're answering all your questions about the LMC this year. Hi, I am Mrs. Meyer, and I'm the librarian here at Discovery. And Mason asked me to um, tell you a little bit about the library based on some um, questions that he had. What do you think is the most important thing for the new kids to know about the LMC? Probably the most important thing is that Mrs. Thatcher and I are here to help you with whatever that you might need. So if that's finding books, if that's putting books on hold, if that's um, finding resources or how to use resources, if that is technology, help, um, whatever it is, we are here to help you. What new books have come to the library this year? Was, um, do we have new books? And yes, we do, actually. Um, We have quite a few new books that just came in. I have more that are on order that I have not gotten yet, um, but I'm gonna kind of show you where the new books are. Those would be right here. Um, How are the bookshelves organized? They are organized by genre. And so at the um, tops of each of the bookcases, you will see... uh, Are you still allowed to use the LMC as a shortcut to the halls this year? And unfortunately, you can't. Um, Basically, because of the whole COVID thing, things are a little bit messed up. Um, like everything else so they don't want you cutting through um, simply because of like traffic being in those doorways. Do you have any book recommendations for the students? To the new shelf, if you go to the award bookshelves, if you go to if you ask for the reader selector books you're gonna get some really really good ones. I hope you guys have learned more about the LMC. Have a great rest of your day DMA. Do you know any success habits? Yeah but I don't know how to explain them. Hey DMS, this is Evan. We're gonna be asking Miss Gabriel questions about grades. Hi DMS, my name is Mrs. Gabriel and I'm the instructional coach here. I'm here to talk to you about one of our success habits, which is grit. What's the definition of grit? What is grit? Grit is when we persevere, we overcome challenges, um, we face obstacles that might be in our way, and we are using these all the time. We have to use grit and perseverance. Um, It might be whenever we are 
running the mile in PE, or it could be when you're doing a word problem in math, something that doesn't always necessarily come easy to you. Grit does not require ability or talent. It's really just that, um, that mindset of overcoming things that are hard in our lives. And as you know, things are a little tricky right now. Um, we're learning face-to-face -face two days a week, and then we're home on our own three days a week, or you might even have help around, but you don't have access to your teacher as easily. And so a lot of us are using grit. Um, your assignment won't submit. And so finding ways to problem solve and finding new ways to work through a problem requires grit. Do you think grit is good for a school? I do think it's a great um, success habit for us at DMS. Um, and I think it's something that even though we've talked about for a couple of years, it's still important for us to circle back to. Um, you, never, you never master grit because you'll always face new challenges in your life. Um, and as those new challenges arise, um, you might have to face and, and tackle those challenges as you go. So um, grit is something that you can become more comfortable with once you gain confidence in one area and you learn to persevere and problem solve it's gonna make you more confident in another area. So I know you all are working hard to use grit and perseverance um, in our current learning setting, and I hope that it's something that you use along with our other success habits as well. But it's definitely a great one for, um, for our students today and in life. Have a great day, DMS. Have you heard about PBIS? Yeah, but I don't really know how to explain it. We should bring it on Sally to learn more about it. Hi, I'm Sally. Ever wondered what PBIS stands for? DMS, so I have been asked to speak with you about what PBIS is. What does PBIS stand for? It stands for Positive Behavior Intervention and Support. What is your favorite thing about PBIS or what do you like about it? Um, so my favorite thing probably is that it provides a way for all the teachers and students to be on the same page. Um, it's always nice when you know exactly what you're supposed to do so that there's no question. Where do you see it happen most? So I wouldn't really say that it happens in one specific place because it's something that should be implemented throughout the entire school. Um, so there are classroom expectations, cafeteria, hallway, restroom, um, bus expectations. So Why did our school start doing PBIS? So PBIS is a district initiative. So all the middle schools and Liberty Public Schools have decided to start using PBIS. How long have we done it? This is our second year to implement it. If you have any questions about PBIS, you can either see myself, Dr. Mies, um, Mr. Osier, Mr. Springer, Mrs. Grantham, and newly welcomed Coach French. I'm Sally signing off for the DMS broadcast. I hope you learn more about PBIS. Have you ever done a DIY craft before? Let's bring on Mayla to build a DIY craft. Hi, this is Mayla, and today we're going to be making a DIY candy corn pumpkin. Things you need for this DIY. Pumpkin, glue, candy corn, bowl, safety tools, and a pen. Draw two circles for the eyes, one for the mouth. Carefully carve them out. Last but not least, take candy corn, place some glue at the bottom of the candy corn, place it all around the pumpkin, and be creative is always fun. Well, have a great day, dear. That's an interesting way to use pumpkin and craft. Dude, I'm so hungry. Same, we should flip it over to Peyton to see some sweet treats. Hi, DMS, my name is Peyton. I'm gonna be making caramel apple dumpling. First, you put the crescent roll in the muffin cup. You wanna push it down all the way to the bottom. Next, you want to put the apple pie filling onto the roll. that you want to put the caramel syrup on to the apple pie and only do a little bit and after you do that you want to uh, put in the sides you want to sprinkle some cinnamon sugar oven for 375 for 9 to 12 minutes. Just turn on the oven. This is what they look like. They look so good. Um, they have been in there for 10 minutes and now my mom's gonna go try them.
Mmm, so good. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. That was really good. Yeah, are there any new teachers at our school? Yeah, we should go to Landon and meet one of them. My name is Landon. There are some new teachers at DMS. Miss Kinsey is taking over the drama and theater classes. I'm going to interview her. What's your name and what do you teach? Hello, my name is Miss Kinsey. I teach speech, theater, and debate. Normally, they are separate classes. You've got a speech debate class and you've got a theater class. But this year, because COVID, they are all smushed. What did you do before you got to DMS? What I was doing before I got to DMS, so I just graduated from college. So I haven't had any like full-time teaching jobs before this one. This is my first. But throughout college, I did quite a few work-study programs teaching drama and speech throughout high schools in Kansas and Missouri. What plays or musicals will you be doing this year? Thanks. Um, what plays are we doing this year? I am, well, we, our department, are currently doing a play called Myth Adventures, Five Greek Tales. And it's exactly what it says it is. It is five different Greek mythology stories. So it features characters like gods and goddesses and nymphs and all kinds of really cool things. We're really excited about it. And then we'll be doing a musical in the springtime. Our hope is that we get to do Descendants, which we have, Descendants, which we have already chosen for our program this year. Fingers crossed that COVID doesn't mess that one up. Where are you from? Where am I from? I am from Independence, Missouri, so just right down south on 291. I went to Truman High School before going to K-State. Go Cats! Um, my room number is 205. Come find me right across. Finally, what are your hobbies outside of school? Um, my hobbies and interests outside of school, I do a lot of Netflix watching. I, I really do like watching a bunch of movies and TV. Um, I also do quite a bit of yoga um, and exercise in other ways. I like to do a lot of cooking. I cook a lot of Italian food. What else? I like to garden, all of that kind of stuff. So that's, that's that. Thanks for listening. Well, that was fun. I hope you guys learned about the new teachers in DMS. This is Landon signing off. She seems really nice. What a parent teacher conference is it gonna look like this year? I don't know, I think Jaden knows more about it. Well, you know what time it is. It's fall, so it's time for parent teacher conferences. This is Jaden, and all your questions about the conferences will be answered. What is your name and what do you do at the school? At the school. My name is Dr. Meese, and I am the principal of Discovery Middle School. What were the dates of the conferences? Conferences this year were Monday, October 19th, and Tuesday, October 20th. Why were the conferences important? Conferences are always important because it's a chance for teachers and parents to connect about how a student is doing actually in class. Hope we answer all your questions. This is Jaden signing off for the DMS broadcast. I'm Trenton. I'm Caleb, signing, signing off, off for the DMS, DMS broadcast. And remember, be respectful, be responsible, be safe, and cause kindness.